bassinet assembly then. I'm going to start with your main textile portion of the bassinet and we're going to establish what the head and the foot is. So the foot has only one canvas loop here and it has a zipper on the ridge. The head has two and no zipper, but it does have these flaps. You take your baseboard and slide it in. And the baseboard has these feet. And these feet are going to pop out through the bottom of the textiles. So, pressing it down inside. And it pops out here. And there's also another little eyelet. And you're going to pull it over these little pegs on the head and foot. Like that. And like that. Head is away from me. Next stage then is to put this inside the actual frame. You're going to pull in your frame, pull down your foot or feet, and then we're going to slide this. All right. Then after that, you have these little plastic clips. And these are going to go in, there's like um, a trough on the inside here. And you want to pull them in so that the bottom part of the plastic foot goes in first. And then you can snap in the top part. I'll try to show this a little bit closer. So, these little feet remain on the outside, but this little bit goes in. And hooks in on the inside there, yeah. And then you press down and it pops into place. And afterwards, this works um, kind of like on a curtain, yeah. You can pull these around, and uh, when everything is in place, the textiles itself will keep it taut. Okay, I'm gonna pop all of these in place then. All of those little connectors have now been clicked into the trough. And before I move on to the head section, I'm just going to space it around such that at the end, they're evenly pressed up against this plastic, which is like the ending. And in order to hold it all tight, you can end by pulling these loops over the connection points for the um, bumper bar. Okay, then we're going to flip it around and we're going to do the same thing on the other side. This flap needs to remain up because we're going to pull it over and tuck it in afterwards. It shouldn't be locked inside. All right, all of the connectors on this side then. For the next step, you'll need these struts. And these are for holding the textiles taut at the head and at the foot of the bassinet. So we'll start with the foot. What you're gonna do is you're gonna need this uh, thinner one. And there's that canvas loop. So you're gonna pull this uh, little clip, plastic clip part, through this canvas loop. And this is gonna press up against here. So it's like kind of like um, a slingshot, like a Y, and that's gonna hold it up in there. I'm gonna flip it upside down. You're gonna find that button that we pulled through the eyelet, and that's gonna go through the larger hole, and then you're gonna pull it to the side into the slit, and it'll hold it taut. So pressing that um, Y up against the frame, and it's going to take a little bit of pressure. Press it through and slide it up, and now it's taut there. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, only on the head you have two of these and two corresponding loops. So first get your loops in order. go. Again, this is going to brace up against the bottom of the seat frame. And we're going to look here. Pull it down over that button and slide it up until it locks into place. There we go. Like that. Next, you have these plastic flaps here. You're going to pull this whole back element over and just tuck those in underneath. 
And those are just to help hold the textiles around the top of this frame. Like this. Next stage is to assemble the mattress. So you have the main portion of the mattress. You have this nifty sweat cover. And then you have your sheet or your liner. So we're just gonna put layer these up top like this and then fit them inside the uh, sheet liner or the covering or whatever you wanna call it. I find it easiest to fold that in half and then pull it all the way down to the bottom and then allow the corners to find the correct positions and then we'll pull it up and do the top. There we go. Then we can fit it down inside the bassinet. Such. And move on to our canopy. So for the canopy, you have the main portion of the canopy. You have these two struts and you have these two hinged adapter bits. So you're gonna need to pull off at least one of your hinged adapter bits. It's easiest, I guess, to show two. They're gonna go like this. If you can imagine the canopy is laying backwards, so then this goes like on, this is my left and your right, yeah? And then the front of the canopy would fold up like that because it's easy to get those backwards. Then you have here the front of the canopy, and you'll know the back because it has this little um, open area. I'm just going to connect over the back. So this, you want to take your struts and find the correct channels for them down here at the side, and just feed them all the way through, one in the front and one in the center. Go. Then we're going to put these into place. So looking again at this adapter like this, this would of course be the front, the one on top, the one underneath is the uh, middle strut. So there, and there. There, and there. Then, on the inside of the textiles here, you have two elastic loops, and these are gonna go over these little hook bits on the sides of the adapters. Then you're gonna take the main body of the bassinet, turn it with the head towards you, take these adapters, and they connect right here. So, pull back that textile a little bit, and then first you angle it in this way and clip it in the top and it clips underneath. Then I'm gonna feed this around because I want that little opening to go correctly over this on the back. I'm just gonna hold it into place. Pull it around the side. And we'll do the last side. Go. And then you can just straighten out all of your textiles, of course. All right. Then you need your storm cover. This is just a matter of it zipping into place on the top. And lastly, you have your bumper bar, which is uh, to be used as a handle, of course, in this case. So you want these white buttons facing inwards because they do rotate, and you're just gonna snap it in place. So if you're planning on just using the bassinet then, you're all set. You just wanna lift it up and pop it right in onto those two adapters and make sure, of course, that that's locked into the flat position.